Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel GSA PUC Mysore. In the last session, that is the session 1 of this chapter, we discussed about what is op amp, why the name operational amplifier, the block diagram of an op amp and the symbol of an op amp. In today's session, I will be dealing with what is a differential amplifier and the characteristics of an op amp. So let's get started. So what is a differential amplifier? Differential amplifier is also called as the difference amplifier. This is the basic building block of the op amp. As the name itself tell, it is a difference amplifier. It amplifies the difference between the two input signals. If I am going to consider the input signals as V1 and V2 and input signals either and the output signals as V0 and the gain of an amplifier if I am going to consider that as AD or AV whatever it is AD and then it will go then the output of this differential amplifier will be the product of the gain and the difference between the two signals that is AD into V1 minus V2. So, Hagagi the differential amplifier or a difference amplifier. This is the main basic building block of the op amp. Now, let us see what are the different characteristics of an op amp. The very first characteristics of an op amp is open loop gain. What is this open loop gain? The gain of an amplifier without the feedback is called as the open loop gain. The op some portion of the output will be taken back to the input. Anthadana now the closed loop. But here we are not taking any portion of the output back to the input. So the circuits na now in the open circuits. So the gain of that particular circuit will be called as the open loop gain. Ideally, the open loop gain must be equal to infinity. Ideally, then the open loop gain is not equal to infinity. But practically, the gain of the amplifier or the gain of an open loop amplifier will be equal to 10 to the power of 5. So, 10 to the power of 5 times the input will be multiplied and will be appearing at the output. Now, let us see the input impedance that is the second characteristics of a op amp input impedance in the last session itself i told you the, the input impedance must be very very high anta nan helide but ideally helodadre the input impedance must be infinity but practically the input impedance will be up to few mega ohms. Yake ohms impedance is nothing but equivalent to resistor and the resistance and the So the unit of resistance is ohm, other impedance the unit is also ohms. So the input impedance of a op amp must be infinity ideally ideal agi heladadre infinity irbeku but practical agi nan heladadre it will be around few mega ohms anta karte the next one is the output impedance output impedance of an op amp must be very very low anta already explained maadi but ideally output impedance must be equal to zero but practically that doesn't happen so it will be around few ohms so this ideally zero irbeko but practically nanage the zero irala it will be around some few ohms the next one is bandwidth so what is this bandwidth the amplifier will amplify the signals of different frequencies ranging from 
0 to infinity ideally heladadre ant helidre all the frequency signals ranging from 0 to infinity nange the range of the frequencies what this op amp can handle must be 0 to infinity andre purti frequency range yavde signal frequency yavde signal na nanu uh, input agi op amp kotre that must be amplified ideally heladadre 0 in the infinity frequency range iro tankonu nange ee operational amplifier will amplify the signal Authority. But practically that doesn't happen. Practically it will be around few megahertz. Hertz yake? because bandwidth is nothing but the frequency range. So frequency ke unit in hertz. So few megahertz irate. practically ideally head of the other infinity irbeku. The next type of characteristics is CMRR. What is this CMRR and theta? Common mode rejection ratio common mode rejection ratio so what is this common mode rejection ratio i already told you that the differential amplifier is the basic building block of an op amp which amplifies the difference between the two signals two input signals but if the two input signals are same same input signal na nanu eradu input ki apply madidre nanage eradu the difference enage barutte it will be equal to zero hotane aadre aa zero na nanage amplify madakagala but there will be some common signals like noise signals ee common signals anthe helidre noise signals irutte aa noise signals must be eliminated and the remaining signals must be amplified Remaining signal and the mikidu differential signal what actually we are applying. There will be some amount of noise signals always present in the circuit and that noise signal must not be amplified by our amplifier circuit. So this noise signal that is the common signal, common mode signal and the karte, that common mode signal must be eliminated. So common mode rejection ratio which will be denoted by CMRR and this common mode different uh, rejection ratio can also be defined as the ratio of CMRR equals the ratio of AD by AC. AD and the head the differential mode gain and AC and the head of the common mode gain. Gain. Ideally, this common mode signals that is the noise signals has to be zero. So, this denominator part nangi zero I to this CMRR that must be equal to infinity. So, this is the ideal case where AC will be equal to zero and the common mode signal noise signal iralanta but there will be some amount of noise signals always present in the circuit so practically cmrr is never equal to infinity so it will be around 90 decibels 90 decibels as to irate it will always always be around 90 decibels so decibels ali nano cmrr na uh, express martini anta helidre cmrr in decibels db and thagarate that can be calculated using 20 log to the base then of common mode gain sorry differential mode gain to the common mode gain so like this i can calculate the common mode rejection ratio in decibels practically it will be around 90 decibels but ideally that must be equal to infinity and the last uh, characteristics is slew rate so what is this slew rate? Slew rate is nothing but the ability of the amplifier to respond a few changes at the input. Input nalli solpa changes idhru no koda, the amplifier must identify that change and amplify that change at the output. So our ability na na vina anta karitivi, slew rate anta karitivi. Slew rate is nothing but delta V naught divided by delta t delta v naught divided by delta t that is whenever there is a small change at the input the output must respond to that changes so the ability of the amplifier to respond for the change in the input signal is nothing but the slew rate which will be given by delta v naught divided by delta t and that will be volts per microseconds 
So, this is all about the characteristics of an op amp. What are those? Open loop gain, input impedance, output impedance, bandwidth, common mode rejection ratio and the slew rate. Open loop gain, ideally it has to be infinity but practically it will be around 10 to the power of 5. Input impedance, ideally that value must be equal to infinity but practically that is not the case. It will be around only few mega ohms. Output impedance, ideally its value must be equal to 0 but practically its value will never be equal to 0. It will be around few ohms. And the next bandwidth, bandwidth uh, uh, the frequency range whatever amplifier circuit can handle. The frequency range must be from 0 to infinity but practically that is not the case. It can handle only few megahertz. And the head the frequency range E linda. This is frequency scale. And the e frequency range in the let me call that as F1 and this as F2. F1 in the F2 bandwidth and the the difference between these two frequencies that is F2 minus F1. So, e bandwidth characteristics of a op amp do ideal characteristics na thakondre bandwidth must be equal to infinity andre illinda shuru aagi elli tanka bekadru nanu ee amplifier circuit na use maadabodu but practically that is not the case ee range inda ee range walagade baruvanta frequency signals na matra amplify maadak sadhya that is practically few megahertz the next one is common mode rejection ratio. It is the ability of the amplifier to reject the common mode signals like noise and amplify the differential signals which will be given by the ratio of AD that is the differential mode gain to the common mode gain. If I want to calculate the CMRR that is the common mode rejection ratio in decibels it will be equal to 20 log to the base 10 of AD divided by AC. Coming to the last characteristics that is the slew rate, it is nothing but the ability of the op amp to respond to the changes in the input signal which will be calculated by delta V0 divided by delta T which is volts per microsecond expressed in volts per microsecond. So this is all about the characteristics of op amp. So now let us see some of the definitions what is present in this op amp. The first definition is input offset voltage. What is this input offset voltage? Let us try to understand that with the help of a circuit. So this is the circuit diagram what is required in order to understand our input offset voltage. So what is this input offset voltage? when? The voltage what we are applying at the two input terminals of the op amp are same then the output must be equal to zero. Hege, I already uh, wrote this V0 is equal to the gain into the difference between the two input signals V1 minus V2. If these two are same both get cancelled. Aga V0 n agbeku, nanke 0 agbeku, hotane. But practically, that is not the case. When the inputs same etrunu kuda, the output will not be equal to 0. A small amount of input signal has to be applied across the inverting input terminal and the non inverting input terminal to make V0 is equal to 0 when the voltages are same. And that is what is called as the input offset voltage. The small signal which has to be applied across the two input terminals of the op amp in order to make the V0 is equal to 0 is called as the input offset voltage. Now the second definition what is called as the output offset voltage. So let's try to understand this again with the help of a circuit diagram. So in this circuit, both the input terminals of the op amps are grounded or shorted. Short mode grounding apply mode. Then the output must be equal to zero. But practically, when the input terminals of the op amp are shorted, there occurs a small error voltage at the output. So the amount of voltage will also appear across the output even when the input terminals are grounded. So our voltage now we are going to call it as the output offset voltage. 
So this is all about the input offset voltage and the output offset voltage. So in this session, we saw what is a differential amplifier, the different characteristics of the op amp and the input offset voltage and the output offset voltage. So now it's time to look into the part 2 of this session. Hello everyone, welcome back to the part 2 of our session. So in this part 2, we are going to see what exactly is op amp. Op amp was first manufactured by Fairchild Semiconductors in the year 1963. An op amp is nothing but a complex electronic device which consists of resistors, capacitors, transistors and diodes. It is commercially available in the integrated circuit form. So here in this picture you are going to see a number of transistors, few diodes and a number of resistors which are connected together to form one complete circuit what is called as the op amp. So this op amp is nothing but an integrated circuit. The most commonly available and used op amp is IC741 as it is shown in the picture. So this IC741 is a 8 pin IC which contains 4 pins to the left and 4 pins to the right. There is a notch present at one corner of the IC. From that notch, we are going to count 1 in the downward direction. 1, 2, 3, 4. Then towards the right, we are going to go in the upward direction counting 5, 6, 7, 8. That is, we are going to count the number of the pins in the U shape, keeping notch facing towards U. So the number 741 indicates that this operational amplifier IC has 7 functional pins out of which 4 pins are capable of taking input and 1 output pin. So as already shown in the diagram, pin number 2, 3, 4 and 7 are the input pins. Whereas 6 is the output pin. Input pins and the as I have already discussed, pin number 2 is a inverting input terminal, pin number 3 is a non-inverting input terminal, pin number 6 is the output terminal. Whereas 7 and 4 are the power supply pins. That is, we have to give dual power supply for this op amp in order to work. That is plus VCC and minus VEE. Positive power supply will be given to pin number 7 and negative power supply will be given to pin number 4. Coming to pin number 1 and pin number 5, those are called as the offset null pins. So what is this offset null pins? The offset null pins is used to remove the voltage difference between the inverting and non-inverting pins when no input is applied to these pins. Even this is already been discussed in the part 1 of the session that is a small input voltage that is that has to be applied uh, to the in, to the op amp. Offset voltages are nothing but a small voltage that must be applied between the two input terminals to make the output voltage zero. So these are the output pins and pin number 8 will not be connected. So totally there will be 7 functional pins out of which 4 pins are capable of taking input. Even positive and the negative power supply will be considered as the input pins and one output pin. In the top we are seeing DIL that is dual in line. Dual in line package and the it is nothing but an electronic component package with a rectangular housing and two parallel rows of electrical connecting pins. Two parallel rows of electrical connecting pins and the on both the sides we will be having four four pins which are running parallel to each other and from those points we are going to take the electrical connecting 
pins. So, in that, na, dual inline package and the which can also be represented by DIP, DIL or DIP. So, this is all about the op amp. In the next session, I will be coming with a new component. Thank you. I hope you are very much clear with this session. In the next session, I will be coming with the application of the op amp. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.